Tyson Fury wins a 10 round unanimous decision over Francesco Pianetta. Let's just cut straight to the chase here, people. Tyson Fury on that form is nowhere remotely close to being ready for a Deontay Wilder or an Anthony Joshua. This guy needs at least a year of rehabilitation fights based on what I just saw there. Seriously, people, if that was Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder in the ring tonight instead of Pianetta, Tyson Fury would have got his would have got his head taken clean off and early as well. Are you kidding me? And you got Fish Eyes standing up there announcing that Wilder Fury is going to be happening later on this year in a post fight interview. I mean, it's looking more and more like Fish Eyes is just trying to cash out. Is his business really struggling when it comes to cash flow? Is he just looking to keep his business afloat? I don't know. But you really do wonder why on earth Tyson Fury has taken the wilder fight right now. I've got to give a shout out to Pterodactyl. <laughs> I'm sure that's not his real name, but he uses that name on Facebook. And he summed it up best when he said, Tyson Fury took the Wilder fight as a way of trying to shame Joshua, probably because he was envious of Joshua. So he wanted to shame Joshua, wanted to steal his thunder, wanted to steal his limelight. But he has inadvertently made himself a sacrificial lamb in the process. You know, if Tyson Fury was talking about fighting Deontay Wilder in the back end of 2019, I wouldn't be so concerned. I maybe wouldn't be so harsh when it comes to his performance. But this is a man who's talking about fighting Wilder, according to what Frank Warren has been saying. This is a man who's talking about fighting Wilder in three months time. Can you honestly sit there with a straight face and tell me that this man looks like he's ready to face Wilder in three months time? Are you mad, bruv? They're talking about, you know, mid or late November is the last I heard. Are you mad? mid november three months from now, bruv, <laughs> he is going to get obliterated on that type of form there. Unless he can work some type of miracle in the next three months, then this is going to end very, very badly for Tyson Fury. I've got no doubt in my mind about it. Now let's talk about the actual performance and why, because I've seen some people say the performance wasn't that bad. Well, for Tyson Fury's second comeback fight, given what he's been through in the last two and a half years, yeah, it wasn't that bad. But again, in the context of him fighting Wilder in three months, it was a terrible performance. In the context of just his second comeback fight after drinking drug problems, depression, losing 100 pounds in weight, then no, the performance wasn't that bad. Right? It's all in context. But in the current context that we're in, unless we were being sold a bunch of BS by Fish Eyes and Finkel and Wilder and Fury about the fight happening this year, then boy, <laughs> Fury is in very, very serious trouble indeed. Now, as I've told you guys before, Francesco Pianetta was knocked out last year. Where is it here? By Kevin Johnson, 2017. Right, 14th of October last year, he was knocked out in seven rounds by Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson was shot about five years ago. Kevin Johnson has never been a big puncher. Kevin Johnson got obliterated by Anthony Joshua. In what, two rounds? He, was, he barely made it out the first round. This, and, and that was many years ago. Kevin Johnson was shot about five years ago. And here we have Kevin Johnson stopping Pianetta last year. Kevin Johnson doing a better job against Pianetta than Tyson Fury did. Tyson Fury, people say he carried Pianetta, he wanted the rounds and all this kind of stuff. Look, Fury showed that he can still switch hit. 
He showed that movement, the upper body movement, the slipping and sliding, the defense and all that kind of stuff. He looked like a fighter who has great skills, but right now is physically in a bad place. He's not in as bad a place as he was a year ago, but he's still nowhere even close to being in tip top condition. The kind of condition you need to be in when you're taking on the elite in boxing. And I'm telling you people, he looks sluggish in there to me. His reflexes didn't look right. His coordination didn't look right to me. Everything just looked a little off, you know? And I'm not sure he can get it back in three months' time. In fact, <laughs> I have very, very serious doubts that he can. So, again, to reiterate, if he was talking about fighting Wilder, in the back end of 2019, I wouldn't be so harsh on his performance and I wouldn't be so concerned. But he's talking about fighting Wilder in three months time. People, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, even if he wanted to get rounds against Pianeta, Pianeta is such a poor opponent. He's the kind of guy who you really should be knocking out accidentally if you're a, an elite level heavyweight. Do you honestly think that Wilder or Joshua wouldn't have got rid of Pianeta early doors. They both would have done without even trying. With just boxing normally and going through the motions without even really going for the KO, both of them would have knocked him out early. People, please. <laughs> I'm amazed that there are people out here looking at that performance from Tyson Fury and acting as though there's nothing to be concerned about. He's fighting Wilder in three months. Nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> My days. Um, no, nah, it didn't look good. His punching power didn't seem to be there. Fury's never been known as a big puncher, but there didn't seem much power in the shots. Um, he looked just sluggish is the best way to describe it especially his feet he just looked very sluggish it was very easy for Pianeta to close the distance on Tyson Fury you know very easy for him to close the distance when Deontay Wilder's on the outside and he sees an opening to land a big right hand jeez I mean Fury's gonna be have to be a hell of a lot quicker than what we saw today to get out of the way when Wilder sees an opportunity for a big right hand because Wilder will punch straight through him you know, yeah, I know there are going to be going to be people who say, no, nah, you're being harsh, hat man. He didn't look that bad. The movement is still there. He was boxing Southport and Orthodox and slipping and sliding on the ropes and his defense was good and all that kind of stuff. Pianeta is a terrible opponent. If you are getting knocked out by Kevin Johnson, an ancient washed up Kevin Johnson in seven rounds, then you're a terrible opponent. I mean, you look at you look at Tony Yoka. Tony Yoka was in uh, going ten rounds with Dave Allen, right? It got to the tenth round. Tony Yoka said, "You know what? Okay, fine, Dave Allen. You've given a good account of yourself, but now I'm going to stop you." He put his foot on the gas at the start of the tenth, the final round, and he stopped him. Tyson Fury could have done that against Pianeta. Pianeta was no danger. But Tyson Fury didn't put his foot on the gas late in the fight and try and get him out of there. Even the commentators who were trying their very best to make out as though Tyson Fury looked a million dollars. Even they were saying that he needs to put his foot on the gas and get Pianetta out of there now. He couldn't do it. And I, I personally don't buy this idea that he wanted to go the distance I personally don't buy it he wanted rounds yeah I believe he did but I think if he could have taken him out after round 7-8 I think he would have done but I just don't think he had it in him the, the punching power wasn't there maybe he didn't feel like he had the energy there either so yeah man <laughs> It's not looking good for Tyson Fury for me. And the way Deontay Wilder was looking at him after the fight, he was looking at him like, yo, you're a light snack. <laughs> you're, 
You think Deontay Wilder was concerned at ringside watching that? People, he he couldn't believe what he was seeing. The amount of money they're talking about paying Deontay Wilder for this Tyson Fury fight. Deontay Wilder can't believe his luck. And the cheek of fish eyes to be talking about the winner of Fury Wilder being the best heavyweight in the world without question. I mean, the cheek of that statement is incredible. The Tyson Fury who beat Klitschko, maybe. But this current version of Tyson Fury, the winner of him and Wilder being unequivocally the best heavyweight in the world, ridiculous. Totally ridiculous for fish eyes to be saying stuff like that. Absurd. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. I'm sure some of you are going to think I'm being overly harsh, but listen, you need to be sharp. You need to have your reflexes about you. You need to have your coordination about you. You need to have the foot speed. You need to be, just be on point to be competing at the highest level against sharp fighters like Deontay Wilder or Joshua. And this is what I always worried about with Fury and I've been saying this for years, is his consistency in terms of mentally and physically. It's just not there. And it will come back to haunt him. In my view, he's taken this wilder fight way too soon. He should have given himself, in my view, a year at least of rehabilitation fights and then start talking about your wilders and Joshua's. The way he's just jumped into it here it's a gamble. And hey, if, if it pays off, if Tyson Fury beats Be Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury deserves an enormous amount of credit. Because if, even if he beats Wilder, I'm not going to tell you that Tyson Fury is back to his best because there's no way that he can be back to his best in three months. No way, based on what I saw tonight. So if he beats Wilder, he's not going to be anywhere near his best. And that means that he's leagues and leagues above Wilder then. Like, even further above Wilder than most people would have suspected. But from what I saw tonight, man, I, I wouldn't put a penny on him beating Wilder after what I just saw. You know, I think he is going to get clipped by Deontay Wilder, whether it's early or whether it's late. At some point, he's going to get clipped and his body is not going to react well based on what I saw. So anyway, let me know how you feel in the comment section below, people. It's happening. I'm out.